Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And boy, oh boy, I love it. No, girl, oh girl. Girl, oh girl. Stop being misogynist. Okay, fine. Them, oh them. I really <laughs> love it when my candy preaches to me. Yes, M&M's is going on about diversity and inclusion. Again, they're introducing a new purple M&M who's there and about inclusivity or something. Right here it says, and they then, expanded its crew characters with the inclusion of purple, a female peanut M&M. So it's a, it's a girl with nuts. Okay. Um, spokes candy. Spokes candy and-, and, and but They wouldn't be really inclusive. Why'd they make another female? That's Why isn't it a they them candy? They make sure they, they, they identify the candy as female, but it's a, a, a peanut candy. Is that the joke? I guess that's the joke. I don't know. Uh, we're going to talk about this because it's possible. It's possible that they're trying to get away from their problematic history. That's right, because most people don't know where M&Ms came from. So before we get into that, <laughs> I'm going to leave it here. Before we get into that, uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 276,000 subs. Thank you so Ooh, much sorry. for the support. I was distracted. You were distracted? I was thinking about nuts. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, let's let's talk about this. Uh, before we talk about the diverse and inclusive M&Ms, a little bit of history, and then we're going to give you some, some history before that history. Uh, just what last year they they announced that they yes. were refreshing the brand. They were making them uh, more and more inclusive, and, and part of part of this uh, inclusivity and progressivity and whateverivity, uh, they got rid of the go-go boots on green. Which a lot of people, everyone was pissed about that. Women are like, wait, what about her her agency? Yeah, so she don't have to be sexy. Oh, and then we have an anxiety disorder M and M too. We have anxiety M and M, and then whatever the hell is going on here. But but Geeky wants to tell you about uh, M and M's problematic. Past. Right. So M and M's, they're they're like they're just happy someone's talking about them. They even said so. It's all about getting you talking. Well, let's get talking. M and M's is probably trying to distract you and pander to certain audiences because their their quote unquote fascist past, as Twitter would say. It is, is something they don't want you to know about. So M&Ms were actually made in World War II for the American troops yes. to, because uh, it was something that could be, because it doesn't melt in your mouth, it melts in your hand, you know, something they could eat and it'd be around easily. They were made for the U.S. military during, to fight the Yahtzees during World War II, which, you know, now military is problematic, according to certain people on Twitter. Well, maybe if the Nazis had some multicolored progressive chocolate, they wouldn't have done the things that they did. That's right. So, yeah. <laughs> but where they got it from is even better. Where um, they got the idea from was they took it from these candies that were sold during the Spanish Civil War. Oh, my God. So they stole better. the idea yeah, so they 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 not, they only made it for World War Two. They made it. They stole the idea from uh, the Mar Frank Morris took it from the Spanish Civil War. Um, they were chocolate pellets with candy inside, so he sure. took it. So we had to we got to distract from that with our progressiveness. So yeah, they they do have a long military history. In fact, there's a whole whole article about uh, M and M's in the military. Um, you know, interesting. And they still continue their military support. Which I agree with. I'm like, yeah. you know, you have the right to be an idiot on Twitter thanks to the military. Yeah, they donated $750,000 worth of packages so far this year. This would have been 2019, I think, to commemorate the uh, anniversary. It supports the MREs program. So I guess Maybe. the M&Ms are... Yeah, I guess the... Sassy Jackie approved. Oh, God, MRE. Somebody was talking about... We were talking about the hamburgers in a can or something which on Twitter, which are absolutely disgusting, and that's like a real thing. Canned hamburger. I'd Ugh. rather have M&Ms. I'd rather have M&Ms. Anyway, anyway, they want you to uh, forget about that. So this is – I just saw this. It just came in, so they're doing their marketing push. But, yeah, like Geeky said, you get to the end of this, and they flat out tell you – they want people to get pissed off and talk about it. Well, that's it. why I added the history of it. I yeah. want people to get pissed off and talk about it. If they, I too could play at this game. I mean, <sighs> personally, purple M and M. Who gives a shit? Who it's a purple a M and M. It's a pretty color. Okay. They've been doing purple and different. You know, the Easter and the whatever. Yes, nothing new. Whatever. Um, M and M's introduces purple candy mascot to celebrate acceptance and inclusivity. As long as you're a girl with nuts. 
As long as you're a girl with nuts, who uh, she has her own she has her own song. By the way, we're gonna. It's stupid. It's, it's cringy. It's kind of pointless. We want inclusivity by making a female Eminem. You already had female M&Ms. You already have inclusivity. But not with nuts. I mean, never I, they, had... they never say that's the reason. I'm saying that's the reason. It's a female M&M, but they made sure it's a peanut M&M. So I was like, what? So it's a female with nuts? Um, that's the only thing I could think of that makes sense. Otherwise, it absolutely makes no sense whatsoever. I was going to say they relegated Green to being the birthing birthing person. But well, M&M they, looks like she's pregnant. They took her. the purple M&M. <laughs> <laughs> they took her go-go boots away, so the chances of her getting knocked up are not as good as they used to be. Well, the, the purple one boots. has sexier boots than the green one. Uh, those are her Doc Martens. Um, anyway, the Mars brand extended its crew of characters for the first time in a decade. I can't. It's part of a controversial refresh that drove impressions in consumer sentiment. It's not controversial. They're making it controversial on they purpose. And they say said, it. They flat out tell you this. We we have said this before, and it's the same with um, you know, all the backlash to, you know, race bending and gender bending characters and all of that. They want you to talk about it. And they also want to use it as a shield. If you get pissed off, if the Little Mermaid movie winds up being terrible, which it probably will be because Disney's track record with live action remakes is not good, they'll just say, "Oh, you're just you're just racist." That's 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 why you didn't like it. You're just a racist. Well, this one you're sexist. This one you're sexist because of the candy. We're really excited about Purple because she's designed to represent acceptance and inclusivity," said Jessica Edelman, vice president for corporate affairs and head of global communications at Mars. Uh, Jessica, who was an intern last week and is now the, uh, the VP <laughs> you know, this week. Yeah, it's funny because you know what's funny? No matter what, under their shell, they're all the same and they all turn to poop. So it doesn't really matter what fucking color the candy shell is. They're all brown underneath and they're all brown in the end. That's right. So who cares? Well, I don't know. Green might turn it blue. You, yeah. But yeah. you know. Uh, we want her to be known for her earnest self-expression, keen self-awareness, authenticity, and, compe and Wait, competence. And competence. If you listen to the song, she's talking about how she can't how dance and how incompetent she is and, and that she can say it, but people aren't allowed to say that about her. She so, literally says this in the song. Yeah, so they've got this like two-minute little spiel. She's just going to be me, and she's she's completely incompetent, badly dancing, whatever. I don't even understand. She's competent, but she can't dance. She can't. Yeah. She's competent, but she's talking about how she's klutzy or whatever. And yeah, whatever. And she makes puzzles or some shit. I don't know. I don't know what the hell this is. Is this like Jessica's Eminem OC? What is this? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and they're selling. They're selling the really cringy song on iTunes, by the way, if you want to buy it. Why? Uh, the song's gonna be available. So here, here it gets better. The song will be available on all major streaming platforms, and M&Ms will donate a dollar for every stream of the song, up to $500,000, to arts nonprofit Sing for Hope. So you have to like this M&M, or you don't, you don't want to give money to, to nonprofits. The effort follows a recent collaboration with Lil Nas X that will see the brand donate $5 to the same charity for every purchase of M&M's packs inspired by the pop star. Or they could just give money to the charity because it's the right thing to do. You could do that, but that doesn't sell candy, does it? No. Just giving well, like, it this away. This is going to sell candy. Just gi giving it away. No, it's it's up to you as the as the brand. It's up to you to trick the consumers into doing all the giving. But really what you're doing is you're giving a, a fraction of what you're making to the cause and you're pocketing the rest so right, the shareholders right, right. are also happy. A controversial brand refresh. Sticking with what's true to the brand is especially important after the brand refresh received plenty of attention. That's what this is about. We're losing attention. People aren't talking about green anymore. Nobody gives and a our anxiety-ridden orange. So we need to hurry up and, and, and make a new one. And then in six months, when no one's talking about it again, there'll be another new one. Or one of them will be now be a female, or one of them will now be a male, or one of them will now be non-binary, which the purple one you'd think would have been non-binary to begin with. <laughs> It's red and blue. Oh, the purple? No, the purple one missed opportunity. The purple one is for peace because the red and the blue, when they mix together, they make purple. And we're all purple. That's right. We're all Americans. It should be for peace. It should peace. be purple. It should That's, be for there peace. There you go. They should have done that. Missed opportunity, but we don't want peace. We want people to bitch about candy. 
Um, as part of the For All Fun Kind platform, M&M's candies received modernized makeovers that drew out the characters' nuanced personalities. But they just made up. Yeah, a purpose-driven move that quickly became fodder for online satire and memes. M&M's took the controversy in stride. They, no, they tell you they wanted this. But yeah, we're thrilled to, to a large extent because it reminded us how iconic our brands are, that people care so deeply about M&Ms and the characters. No, we, we think if, they're being stupid and If it's they stupid. cared about that, then they would listen to the people, but they don't. So no, we're just going to make a new purple one about inclusivity for no, that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever because it's not really inclusive just to turn around and, and try to cause more drama to pander to the people on Twitter that will support this who will also be against where they came from. I love this. This is such, this is such like, hey there, fellow kids. Three in four Gen Z are surveyed by Morning Consult said they were aware of Eminem's new purpose with 48% saying they heard positive buzz about the brand. <laughs> I agree with you. She was an intern last week. She was an we, intern was, last week. No, Why? we were making that up. We don't know. No, she probably was. This is how Disney, look, I knew, I know. Cause there was this one girl that was, she was in charge of marketing at Disney. And the one time we were there, she was an intern. And like a year later, she's running the place. And I'm like, it's very obvious where some of these dumbass corporate marketing ideas are coming from, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, it just doesn't make any sense though, because it's like, so they're making a new M&M. They've already changed them all to be representative, but now they're making a new M&M. That's a purple M&M. It's about diversity and inclusion, but it's gendered. And it's, you know, it, I mean, it, it's very specifically, you know, what it's set up to be. It's a woman spokesperson is what it is. And I'm like, but then we had green. I mean, I don't understand what this matters. They're all spokes. No. Spokes candies. Spokes, spokes things. Here's why it matters. They tell you at the very end what is going on. People are always going to have reactions. It means you're relevant. It means you're in the conversation. And having a purpose helps you be really clear and true about what uh, motivates you and what your reason to be in the consumer spaces. Not money. They, yeah, yeah. I mean, let's be honest. What's motivating them is they want the buzz so people buy M&Ms so they get money. They're going to try to do this campaign where they have a dollar for, you know, whatever to this organization that they make a lot more money from because of money. So let's let's be very clear. All this pandering that's been going on for the last like five to eight years, some of it might be a misguided attempt at uh, being progressive or social justice or whatever. A lot of it is just corporate spin to get you to buy shit. Or exactly what, they, what it is. They think they're basically they're telling you exactly what's going on. Well, we're appealing to Gen Z, and Gen Z has certain expectations Gen of Z. corporate America. So we Gen Z had people talking about how we shouldn't teach World War II in schools because it makes them feel bad. It makes them feel and the bad. candy is based on World War II. <laughs> I'm like, it was made to feed to, to, as a as a, a, a cash grab because they were rationing. They are ra the government was rationing supplies like sugar, but if you were a candy company making candy and making treats. For the military, you got to keep your supply. Yeah, but look, M&Ms have always been fighting the Nazis. That's one True. way to look at it. that. That should have been their look. If you really want to appeal to Twitter, M&Ms, you should have been like, we have been fighting the Nazis forever. M&Ms candies helps people punch Nazis. <laughs> I'm like, who can play at this game? You want to do this? We're gonna Turn be, their nuts purple. We're going to be a spokesperson. Oh but we're like, we're going to point out where you came from. That's Because the people you're pandering to absolutely would hate that. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get two of these big purple peanuts and we're going to make a, a pair. We're going to make there a pair. Go. Oh, that'd be funny if they had like... I just think they didn't say that's why, but I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. I am sure. Except it was a peanut M&M. So either because she's fat, because she's got a peanut in there. Or because she has her peanut tucked. Because she's got nuts. Yeah. <laughs> she has like, her peanut tucked up. As a woman, I don't find this. I just find it stupid and funny. I don't really give two fucks about you putting a, a female a female spokesperson candy about being awkward. I'm awkward every day. I don't need a purple woman M to, to make me feel better about myself. I, I validate myself. This whole thing is like, it's like an episode of like Parks and Rec or something, like a really misguided marketing attempt by the candy company. And it should be mocked, but we know what the motivation. Oh, like I they have don't no care. problem mocking it. They don't care if you're mocking it. They probably love 
They probably love that we're making this video. They don't like so much that we're telling people where they came from, but they probably love that we're mocking Well, it. they were against the Nazis. So there we go. If it was like, you know, M&Ms were Hitler's favorite candy, then yeah, we'd have a little bit of a problem. Then you might need some, you know, ask Volkswagen how that's going for them. They got to do a little, uh, you know, PR there. But um, yeah, anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Yep. It's just so freaking stupid. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.